all of Merck Provisions products, they're all natural, uh, sourced locally with the majority of our fruit here in Washington State. We have four different beverages. We have our lemon ginger, which is our unique indica blend. We have our rainier cherry, which is our hybrid blend and then the pomegranate, which is our sativa, called the power tonic. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, we just released the cranberry CBD, which is a one-to-one -one ratio of THC to CBD. Okay, so the, the first step in what we're doing is we're getting in fresh fruit and ingredients from suppliers. This is fresh agave, organic agave from Mexico. We have other supplies, mostly comes from the Yakima Valley, where we get our fruit. Uh, we do get lemon citrus fruit from uh, California, because we don't grow many lemons here in Washington. We'll take all of our fruit, we'll mix it up. Once the product is cooked, we'll transfer it over to Bright Tank, similar to what you'd see in a brewery. That will then transfer and connect over to our filling and labeling machine over here. It looks like we're running uh, lemon ginger on this run. We'll put it over on the racks. We'll send that into our lab for potency and microbial testing. Once it passes the potency testing, it will make it here onto our inventory to be uh, sold and shipped out to retailers all over uh, Washington. Again, I'd, uh, I'd say it's the fact that we're deliberate about our ingredients, our suppliers, um, similar to you guys. We wanna go and see where our fruit's coming from. We want to use ingredients that we feel good about. They're more expensive, uh, but they taste better. And what really makes legal different is the three to five strain blend that we use on each of our beverages. So those, the cannabinoids in those strains in concert with the natural terpenes that we have in the fruit produces a consistent effect whether you're enjoying our product in Seattle or Spokane or Portland or Phoenix. So uh, similar to you, we go and see their facility. We want to understand their processes. We want to understand where the source material is coming from, uh, what they're doing in terms of uh, potency testing, what they're doing in terms of uh, microbial testing. Uh, and we need to make sure that the strains that they're producing are consistent with kind of the strain library that we use. And a lot of times that means not, oh, hey, that's Blue Dream. Okay, that's nice that you say it's Blue Dream, but let's take a look at the terpene profile. Let's take a look at the relative cannabinoid profile and make sure in fact that 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 is the, the blue dream that we're used to working with because we need to have that to make sure that the effect's consistent. We don't want somebody going out and saying, hey, I had a great night on your pomegranate last Saturday, and then the next Saturday they go out and it puts them to sleep. So we've gotta, be, we've gotta make sure that that consumer experience is consistent. So yeah, great question. So uh, in addition to looking at their reports, any of our suppliers, we ask that they use the same laboratory that we use. Mm -hmm. So we can get more objective independent data mm -hmm. from that lab. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also good to know when you're working with source material on its potency, and then we're running it through our process that we're dealing with the same lab, mm -hmm. that eliminates people point in different directions or blaming other people. So that's kind of a requirement of any uh, vendor that we use. I think the most exciting thing about this industry is we're all here creating history. And I think, you know, our grandchildren, uh, you know, I don't know, 50 years from now are gonna say, what, you know, marijuana was illegal and you were doing what? And uh, I think we're all very comfortable in Washington state talking about it, but you make the trip over in Idaho and you realize it is a different world culturally. So it's cool to be on the forefront and I just love creating product that we're proud of that's different and better and we're having a hell of a lot of fun doing it. I, I mean, we're less focused on, on uh, uh, you know, getting big and we're more focused on really creating product that we can be proud of and, um, uh, and, and growing that way. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks. <laughs>